I'm joined now here at Sunset Speedway by Mark Dilley. Mark, next weekend the Pinty Series races at Sunset where you are the general manager. When and why did you get involved with the track? Ah, well, it's a long story really, but I owned uh, Barry Speedway back in the early 2000s and and we had uh, some good success there. And then when the new owners group took it over, they phoned me and asked me if I would come and revamp it and and uh, really rebuild it. And that's kind of what we've done. So it's uh, I agreed to it, and and here we are seven years later. And you know I think on a weekly basis we have 140 cars and NASCAR sanctioned. So Pinty's race, obviously, lots going on. So it's been been exciting. What was your reaction to Sunset being added to the schedule last year after Barry's closure? Uh, it was we we've been working with NASCAR for a while on it, and and basically what what, what the problem when Barry had a race is they have a geographical boundary of another race, and we fell uh, basically a mile inside that boundary. So uh, we had talked, and then obviously with the closing of Barry, it made the decision very simple for NASCAR and ourselves. And then you know we're, we we've been ecstatic about it. It's been a great event for us, and look to into the future to be a great event. What are your thoughts about that first race here? For me personally, it wasn't a great race. Uh, you know, th different thoughts. I mean, it's I think it's the longest running green flag short track in, in the history of NASCAR. I don't know. I think they went 263 laps or something under green. But um, I would like to see a few more cautions, a little more excitement. But I think uh, I think we'll be fine this year with it. What does it mean for a national touring series to come to this track? Um, obviously, you know, you try and build uh, whatever it is you're building in, in racing and trying to get national exposure and want to want to showcase it to as many people as you can. And, and with uh, the Pinty series coming, uh, obviously, it's, you know, the television and everything else and, and the exposure that you get through it is, is great for the Speedway. And not just the Speedway, for the local racers here, it, it puts uh, Sunset on the map on a different, uh, different avenue than just... Uh, playing Saturday night racing. You're also driving part-time in the Pinty Series. What are your plans for this season? Um, well, I'll run all the ovals, uh, and Kerry's going to run the road courses, and we'll try and run for an Olders Championship again. Similar, to, Very similar to what we've done over the last, uh, last, I guess, three, four years. I don't know if it's three or four years, but it works good uh, just with my timelines at the racetrack and Kerry's timelines and financially with sponsorship and that. It's worked out real well, so uh, real excited to get going. What would a win at sunset mean to you? Well, I, I mean, it would be obviously, you know, that's that's where I want to win the most if I'm going to win somewhere this year. So uh, I think that, you know, I did it at Barry. I won at Barry a couple times. Um, so I, I, you know, obviously it would be very, very, it, it would be something in my career that I could say after racing for 34 years, it would be in the top top two, if not the top one. What do you think of your chances to win this weekend? Um, I think I think we got a good chance. I mean, we've tested. We have new cars. Uh, everything seemed to go good. So, you know, it's the thing about racing and in a long race like that. There's a lot of variables that can come into play. So, you know, I think the biggest thing is we just uh, do our best and team does their best, and that's all we can ask for. You've won a few races in this series, and I remember you saying that Riverside is one of your favorite tracks, where you do have a victory. What did that win mean to you? Uh, that was a big win there that my mom had just passed uh, the month before, uh, uh, a couple weeks actually before. And uh, yeah, it, it was a big, uh, it, for us, it, it was something, uh, you know, it, it was an amazing victory. I, I, I love Riverside Speedway. I've, I have, I don't know if I've ever finished out of the top five there. It's been one of my most successful tracks. Uh, I love it every year we go there and uh, last year we led for a whole bunch and we were real good and just had a brake problem there halfway through but uh, you know we just I, I love going there I love the people in the East Coast it's a, it's a great place to race. Sunset is a part of NASCAR home tracks and is touted as having one of the best driver rosters in the province. Who are some of the talents to watch for? Oh, yeah, on a regular Saturday night, there's a bunch. Obviously, Taylor Holdaway, uh, Dwayne Baker, Chris Morrow, Gord Shepard. Uh, the list goes on and on. And uh, Nick Getz. I mean, there's, there's at any given night, we'll have 25 to 28 late models, and out of that, there's a good 15 to 18 that can win on any night. There's, it's, it's the strongest field of late models I've ever seen in my life.
And what about the type of racing and the schedule here? Um, well, really, we run something runs every Saturday night for sure, uh, whether it's a NASCAR wheeling event or an APC event or an Avenue Auto Parts event. Um, that's a new class we started with Super Late Models, but it's been phenomenal. Uh, we have something every Saturday night and next Sunday. So the biggest thing is check the schedule. What are your racing plans for this season here at Sunset locally? For myself, I'll run uh, the, obviously the Pinty's race on June 18th and then I'm going to run a Super League model in the Avenue Auto Parts Series on August 13th. Thank you very much for joining me here at Sunset and we look forward to the race. Thank you. Thank you for all you do.